hello everyone in this video we are going to see how we can put uh, an image as a background in latex document and also we will see how we ca uh, can convert that uh, background image to a watermark so we will start let me open the latex tech maker so we will open a new file so basically before you are opening a new file uh, you have to set your working folder so my working folder here is So I will be in education. In education, I am in the LaTeX folder. Uh, in the LaTeX folder, I have created a folder called as background. Now the image which I am going to use as background is this. So this is the image I am using as a background. So so even the LaTeX file which I am going to uh, type here, I will be saving in this folder itself. So this is my working directory. Uh, you have to save your image which you are going to put as a background has to be in your working directory otherwise you get error okay so make sure that the image should be in your working directory fine so, uh, let me start to create the document so, so backslash document class let me let, uh, let me create a document class of 12 point font so with a 4 paper and I'm, I'm writing an article document type is article so I'm using a graphic package use package graphics gra phi cx why I'm using this package because I want to upload an image so in order to upload an image you have to use this package called as graphics now I need to have few random uh, text in the document so that I can convince you what's happening so for that I am using lipsum package LIPSUM so this package will give me the random lines in the document ok we will we will see that so now we are going to use the background package so use package background use package background fine now we will set up the background so backslash background setup background setup so in a, inside a curly bracket so scale basically I am not scaling the image which is equal to 1 so angle uh, I'll, uh, even I am not changing the angle I will keep it as 0 opacity opacity is equal to let me just keep the opacity as 1 so if I keep it as one, so I'm not changing the opacity. I'll have kept it as it is. Comma. Next is so content contents is equal to so what is the content as a background I'm uh, putting here is the image, right? So for that, so how do we load the image? Backslash include graphics. So I'm not changing the scale. I keep this uh, size of the image as it is, and here I have to give. Uh, the title of the image so my title image title is what cc -O -O dot jpg so as it is I have to give the title of the image fine now so backslash begin document end document uh, now the first page is let me uh, keep put few random lines here so lipsum let me run it before running it I have to save it so I have to save it in my working directory so which is uh, in my education folder so in, in the latex background so here I will save it as background underscore as underscore watermark ok let me run the ok fine so this is my document so the thing is we don't get to see any background here right uh, in order to see the background we, in order to see the background actually we have to run it multiple times fine ok uh, so this uh, since I have only one page here this is one page document so there is a background for the first page right so let me put one more page backslash new page 
and let me have few more lines here in this page let sum of 5 say 7 so let me compile this fine so this is the second second page i have so let me compile it again you have to compile it multiple times to to get the document okay so so even i have the background in the second page also let me let me have one more page so backslash new page and let me have a few lines here lip sum lip sum of say six let me compile it one more time okay so as you can see I have background image in the document okay uh, whatever may be the number of pages you are going to write in your uh, article in your article you will be having this background image okay now if you want to change the opacity of this background image you have to change this number so I, since I have put one the opacity does, did not change if I give opacity as 0 0.5 and if I compile it see the opacity has been changed here okay so if you want kind of transparent thing you can just decrease this so I'll give 0 0.3 fine so basically angle no you can change you can change the angle if I give 90 the angle of the image will change rotate it to 90 degree in the negative direction so this now see now the, the angle has been rotated for about 90 degrees right so I'll change it to 0 so one more thing here is you can you can uh, scale the size of the image and you have two options here either you can scale the image in this by changing this number or you can scale the image by changing this number Okay, so if I keep it one, and if I keep, if I change this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and if I compile it, now the in the, in, in all the page, uh, the background image has been scaled to 0 0.5. Okay, even you can change here also. I'll I'll make it one, and here I'll make it as 0 0.5. This also works fine. see so either you change this number or you change this number to change the uh, size of the background image okay let me make it one fine so say you don't want the background image or this watermark in all the page you want it just in one page we can do that so how do we do that so in this uh, background use package so within a square bucket so what you need to do is first page is equal to 2 by default it is false but when you give first page is equal to true so you get this background image in just one first page See, I have this background in only first page and rest of the page background is not there. So by default it will be false. So if you want it in just first page, you give it as true. So what if you don't want, uh, I mean to say, what if you want the background in first page and the third page and I don't want it the background in the second page. Even we can selectively put this background. So for that, so what you need to do is so page pages is equal to sum so by default it will put the background to all the pages if you give this pages as is, is equal to sum now if I run it if you see you won't get to see any of the background images in the page okay so by default there won't be any background in any of the pages for example if you want background 
in first page and in the third page so this relates uh, this line is for first page right so after begin document this is the first page so for that what you have to do is backslash b g stands for background this page okay now if i run it i get to see the background in only one pa first page so you have to run multiple times to see the background fine so i have a background in first page but I don't have background in second and third page. But if you want the background in the third page, the last page, so this is related to last page. So BG this page. Again run multiple times so that you can see the background. Fine. So I don't have background in the second page, but I have the background in the first and third page. This is how uh, you selectively uh, can give the background to pages in your article. So in the uh, here we don't have option to move this background here and there. In the next video, I will show you how how can we move this background uh, selectively anywhere you want in your page. So thank you.